What's up, Dream Chasers? What's up, Ranch Gang? It's your boy, Kevin Van Voris, and I have a really interesting and long video for you guys today. So, if you're new to the channel, my name is Kevin Van Voris. I've been doing YouTube for several years, mostly car stuff. I've been doing it for a long time, um, really heavy into the Mopar scene, and um, I have an interesting and long story to tell you guys and where I've been over the past eight months because I haven't really been active on YouTube, Instagram, or social media much and finally I can talk about it. So grab some to drink, kick your feet up, and let's get into probably the worst time in my entire life. But before we get into that, DJ please, you know what to do, hit that intro. Supercharge, 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 Man has been arrested for deadly conduct related to street racing. Officers were made aware of a YouTube channel belonging to Kevin Van Voris, where they say he was documenting illegal street racing. Investigators watched over 20 videos where Van Voris records street racing in multiple areas around Amarillo with speeds reaching over 100 miles per hour. They also served a search warrant at his home where evidence was. So I'm literally going to just start from the beginning, but before I get into this video, if this video plays all the way through um, and you guys are seeing actually this beginning part, that means my lawyer has watched this video and has approved this message. <laughs> so um, that means everything in this video is truthful and there's going to be several of these videos, but this is the first one that I want to tell you guys basically what has happened and what has transpired over old YouTube videos. Um, so if you're a creator, and you're in a city that some people don't like you, you need to be very careful with what you put on the internet, basically. Um, the videos that um, I'm about to talk about are old, um, very old videos. So I'm gonna start from the beginning. So you guys have just seen the footage, and I'll play it again, of my house getting raided for YouTube videos.
So that is actual footage of my house getting raided by um, Amarillo, SWAT, and whoever else was there, APD, um, and there was the Amarillo FBI was there, and um, mind you, I have never been in trouble in my entire life. Um, never, my record is, well, was clean besides like speeding tickets or window tent tickets, stuff like that, but nothing actual serious on my record. So um, this isn't like a clickbait video or anything like that, um, but let's get into it. So <clears throat> I wake up every day, usually 4.40 in the morning, usually have a 5 a.m. client every day. So if you guys don't know, I own a gym in Amarillo called Contagion Athletics. I also own a clothing company, Contagion Athletics. So. Um, it's a lifestyle brand, but anyways, so I wake up every day, I go train clients at the gym. So um, on March 31st, I woke up like any other normal day and went to work in the morning, came back, and before, <laughs> if I had a break, um, I would, you know, take a nap. So I took a nap, didn't think anything of it, came home, and... Um, I had a 10 a.m. or I have a 10 a.m. client, so she usually trains at nights, but she trained at 10 a.m. that day. So I went in. I'm backing up my driveway. I look to my right and I see a cop car with its lights just dimmed, like two houses down. I'm like, man, that's kind of weird. Like nothing usually happens on my street. It's kind of strange. I didn't think anything of it. So I go. There's a gas station by my house. I go grab an energy drink because I just woke up and. Um, <laughs> I leave the gas station, and as soon as I pull on to I-40, which is the big freeway here, magically, the police car that was just down the street from my house is now behind me with its lights on, and I'm like, that's weird. I just got something to drink, and mind you, I'm like barely awake at this point because I just woke up from a nap, so... Um, haven't even opened my energy drink. So I pull over, no big deal, <clears throat> get off of the freeway, and I see two officers get out with their hands on their guns. And I'm like, okay, this seems kind of strange. They come up to the window and they say, do I know why you pulled you over? And I'm like, no, honestly, I have, <laughs> I have no idea, officer. I didn't think I was speeding or anything. He said, no, did you know you have a warrant out for your arrest? At that point, um, now mind you, I've never been in trouble, ever, ever. I have my hands on the steering wheel, and I'm like, can you tell me that one more time? I'm sorry. He's like, you've worn out for your arrest for uh, deadly conduct. And I'm thinking, what? <laughs> you know, it hits me that <clears throat> this is a real situation. So, the two police officers uh, were extremely nice, and again, they're just doing their job. They don't know if I have guns in the car, if I have drugs in the car, or if I've got a bomb in the car, whatever, right? So, uh, I just say, okay, can I, <clears throat> um, let me, can I open the door? Yep. Uh, I get handcuffed, and those, <laughs> those handcuffs were uh, <clears throat> extremely tight. Um, so, they walk me to the back, and put me in the back of the cop car and they open all the doors as if they are looking for something and I'm sitting there and I'm like I, I, I'm trying hard to process like what the hell just happened and I'm like what in the actual fuck is going on no clue <clears throat> so I'm sitting there hands behind my back like this and uh, I'm not a small person by any means, but I mean, trying to have my hands behind my back is not very comfortable. Um, again, never been in the back of a cop car, um, so that was interesting. They are going through the Jeep, um, taking pictures of everything, open everything up, and I'm like, man, I don't like, I don't have anything. I don't smoke weed. I barely drink like once a year, maybe. I don't have any drugs in, on me, obviously, and so. They come back to the back and they're like, hey, is there anybody at your house? And I'm like, um, 
I mean, my, my wife should be home. Why? They don't tell me anything. Um, <clears throat> now, I don't know what's going on with at my house. I have no clue. Nothing. Um, so I'm just going to tell you from my point of view. So I'm in the back of the car. Um, it's like 10, 15. Um, I'm never late to a client, so I can already tell, like, something's going on. So, uh, obviously they don't find anything in the car. They call a tow truck. Um, <clears throat> and, again, no clue what's going on in my house. So, call a tow truck. Tow truck comes, and I'm like, dude, what is going on? So, they <clears throat> get in the car. And they say, hey, um, you have two options. You can either go downtown and talk to um, the DA, or you cannot say anything, and we can go book you in Roanoke County. And I'm sitting there thinking, because I'm like, I've never been in trouble, but I've always been told and from movies and stuff, right? And being not an idiot to, regardless, never say anything. So I said... Just take me to Randall County. Can you just do me a favor? Can you call my brother, who's the general manager of the gym? Can you tell him what is going on? Because people are going to freak out if I'm not there. It took a little bit to convince them, but they were super nice again. Because I wasn't being any type of way. I was just super cool, obviously. Like, there's nothing I can do. I'm in handcuffs in the back of a car. Um, so... <clears throat> so they called David. And uh, officer just says, hey, just letting you know, your brother has been booked and uh, he won't be in. He'll be at Randall County in 20 or 30 minutes. Okay. Now, again, I don't know what's going on, so I'm going to tell you that a little later. So I'm in the back of the car. Um, it's about a probably 20-minute drive from kind of where my house is to Randall County Courthouse and or Randall County Jail. <clears throat> Mind you, I've never been there. I've only driven by because the drag strip is out there. And, um, I'm sitting there thinking, like, what in the hell is going on? I have no clue. So, just quiet the whole time, just trying to think to myself, like, what is going on? We pull up to the jail, and I'm like, okay, this is, like, real. I'm kind of getting chills talking about it. Um, it was a very, I'm, I'm pretty screwed up from it, and I probably will be for a while. Pull in. They open this garage thing, so the garage door goes up, the car pulls in, I look at, I look behind me, garage door closes, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to fucking jail. <clears throat> so, um, before, so sorry, uh, back up a little bit, there was $2,000 in cash in my center console that I did not deposit, luckily, I did not deposit, and I said, officers, can you please grab the cash? I don't want the tow truck driver stealing it, and then they're saying there was no money there. They were super cool, so they grabbed that for me. So, anyways, that's going to come important here in a minute. <clears throat> I get out of the cop car. I have to take off my shoes, my socks. Um, I was wearing a beanie. Had to take that off. Take everything off, pretty much. Um, <clears throat> I show up, and I check in all my stuff. Check in a watch. Uh, I don't have my phone. Um, so, check everything in. They say, hey, there's $2,000 in cash. Your cash bond is $1,500. Do you want to use that? I said, yeah, take my money because I'm not going to go sit and wait to go call somebody and have them pick me up. So, I'm sitting there. Um, the Officers in Randall County are super nice, and the funny thing now, wasn't funny at the time, funny thing now is there were several of them, male and female, who were like, what'd you do? And I'm like, I have no idea. You probably know more than me. I really have no clue what's going on. Um, they're just like, well, it says deadly conduct from like 2020. And I'm like, I have no clue what's going on. <clears throat> so... Uh, the funny thing is a few of those officers are watch, watch my YouTube channel, have been to my uh, Caffeine and Cars charity car events that we have at my gym every so often. And <laughs> they're like, man, you put on awesome events. I don't know what is going on. And I'm like, dude, I have no clue what's going on. So um, I'm sitting there. 
I try to call Rachel, no answer, phone's off. I call David, my brother, phone's off. I don't know very many numbers. I call, call, call. They're, you know, they're like, I don't know what to do. <clears throat> you don't have a ride. I'm like, well, let me call my gym. I call my gym and I say, Angela, who is my assistant, who is also just a lifesaver and she's someone who is an employee, but she's pretty much family at this point. I say, I need you to come to Randall County Jail and I need you to pick me up right now. She hangs up the phone, doesn't say a word, and drives over. So I wait about 20 minutes before, and again, I have no clue what's going on. So I grab all my stuff, <clears throat> I say, hey, where's my Jeep at? Okay, grab all my stuff, and I'm like, um, I didn't get my phone back. And they said, there was never a phone checked in. And I sit there for a second, and I just laugh, because the police officers took my phone. So once that happened, I'm like, okay, something is going on. Now, mind you, I didn't know that my house was raided. So, no one has cell phones, and it's 2022. How do you contact people? Well, you can't. So, I go pick up my Jeep. <clears throat> I pay some stupid amount of money, like $200, $300. And mind you, it was at the tow yard probably for about 45 minutes. Um, I pick up the Jeep. I head home. I pull up. And... My garage is open and I can just tell something is not right. I walk in and Ray or Angela on the way is telling me like, yeah, they raided your house. I'm like, okay, whatever I did, that's fine. Cause again, I still don't know what I did at this point. That's fine. But Rachel has nothing to do with anything. So first thing I think about is Jesus Christ. Like Rachel was at the house by herself I'm thinking there's like two or three cops show up. Obviously you guys can see that it's much more than that. It's an actual raid. <clears throat> so, come home, first thing I do, I almost start tearing up. Um, I don't cry, I've cried like less than, probably 10 times in my entire life. Um, and I almost get emotional, Rachel's crying, and I'm just like, are you okay? Because that's the biggest thing that I wanted to make sure. And obviously like checking on my brother, and um, everybody else who was involved. <clears throat> So, now I can kind of tell you what actually happened. So, while, I, while all this is going on, I'm getting booked, all this stuff, police officers show up to the house with big ass fucking guns. Rachel just got out of the shower. She has no clue what's going on. She sees however many six, seven, eight, nine officers at the front door acting like I'm El Chapo or something like that because I have no idea why they're coming with guns blazing to my house. I have no priors, nothing. If you followed me around for a week, you'd know I just go to the gym and come home, go to the gym, come home. So, um, they tell Rachel, we have a <coughs> search warrant for your house. We need your cell phones. We have a search warrant for those, blah, blah, blah. So, they go through my entire house. They take Rachel's cash which was uh, several thousand dollars in cash because she just literally likes having, <laughs> I've always told her to, she needs to put it in the bank, but anyways, um, that's her tip money. She's a bartender, so she puts the tips in a little thing and keeps them and they took all that. Her birthday was a few days prior. They went inside cards from her mom and her family that had money in them and took the money out. <clears throat> So it was several, several thousand dollars. I'm not gonna give you an exact amount, it was several thousand dollars. Any and every electronic in my house, computers, SD cards, everything. If you guys don't know, I own a Dodge Demon. I was flown out to the Dodge Demon release. They went through, because I got this cool little Dodge Demon kit that had a USB on it, full of like Dodge Demon extras, behind the scenes and stuff. They took that. They took my Wi-Fi extenders, my router, my PlayStation 4, my PlayStation 5. They cut, I have cameras on the outside of my house, inside my shop, obviously, as you guys see. They cut cameras at my house, which still to this day really irks me because it's like, they could have gotten away with stuff because they cut my cameras on my house. Um, so they took everything that was electronic, every thing. SD cards, GoPros, cameras, <clears throat> PlayStation. 
have no idea why it took place. Everything. Laptops, everything. Went to the gym where David was working, confiscated his phone because I had a search warrant for it. Um, <clears throat> took everything. Now, this is all over YouTube videos, supposedly. So, um, that's part of the reason why that I have met on YouTube is my house got raided for YouTube videos that were years old. Um, and so <clears throat> it's March 31st, everything's happening. I don't have a phone. Me and David finally go later that day, go get phones. I spend a god awful amount of money on buying two new phones for me and Rachel. <clears throat> David had to buy a new phone. Um, just a lot of money that was wasted on the first day, and I've spent so much money since then, but it's besides the point. Um, so, it gets put on the news, and they make it sound like as if I'm Dominic Toretto, and I've been planning and doing street racing, like, all these things, like, they made it sound like I was caught going doing street racing at 10 a.m. and that's why I was arrested. In reality, it was from a YouTube video <clears throat> from a cruise um, that we did. It wasn't street racing, it wasn't anything like that. It was from, um, and, and there was a few videos. So that was the first time I got arrested. Um, so obviously everything comes out, <clears throat> I'm, super worried because I train a lot of people. I own a gym. Obviously, in my image is very important to me because I own a small business in Amarillo. And <clears throat> I was extremely worried what my gym members, more importantly, what my clients would think. And luckily, my clients know that I'm not a jackass and um, that I don't do anything besides work. That's what I do all day, every day. And everybody was super cool about it. And everybody is still super cool about it. Um, so they had this whole thing on the news and I have clients sending it to me. Then I have people who are driving by my house sending me Snapchat videos and stuff. And when I'm getting arrested on the side of the road, it was just super, super embarrassing. Um, and that was the first time I got arrested. And I was arrested, I went to jail two more times, um, which I'll make videos on those a little later, but the first incident <clears throat> uh, was deadly conduct. So it was a video, which none of these videos are live on my YouTube channel anymore because I just deleted them all. In reality, it didn't make any difference because they already had all the videos they needed, but they went through my entire YouTube channel. They were wanting to charge me with stuff the statute of limitations is two years, and there were things that they, if they could have, they would have charged me with. But luckily, it was over two years. Like, um, there's a. <laughs> Anyways, I won't talk. But the video that I got in trouble for originally is I took two of my employees, not while they were working, that was just the title of the video. And the title was Taking My Employees Street Racing on Our Lunch Break. Now, if you guys know how YouTube works, it's not <laughs> exactly whatever you say go is happening in the video, right? I like to entertain people, and sometimes that comes with clickbaiting people. It's just part of it. So it wasn't me actually going around street racing. It was me, two of my employees, <laughs> going around in the track hawk, having a good time. That's all it was. We weren't actually street racing, <gasps> excuse me, street racing people or anything like that. Um, but it was deadly conduct because I was putting the passengers in whatever. So, <clears throat> uh, so I don't want to make this video too long, but that's the first time I got arrested. I plan on making two more of these videos, probably three, to give you guys a full spectrum and then go over it. Um, but, you know, being treated as if I'm Dominic Toretto or... El Chapo or like some giant drug dealer over YouTube videos was the craziest thing I've ever seen and uh, You know they searched my shop. I had an ice chest back there that they were obviously trying to look for something 
and one of the officers <laughs> that I know from the town club days when I used to work there said, one of them was like, did you find anything? And he said, yeah, broccoli. So it's been an interesting eight months. Uh, that was the worst day of my entire life. I've had some shitty days and some shitty stuff happen, but that was by far the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Um, <clears throat> so, because it was just a person or persons, I'm not gonna say who, just turning me in, trying to ruin my image and ruin my gym and do all these things. And, you know, it's just, like it's unfair, at least in my opinion, that you try to ruin someone's image just by turning them in and saying things that aren't true. And then my house gets raided. And then um, I end up getting arrested for YouTube videos. So um, it just sucks because I've tried really hard to, you know, be an example. And I like to entertain people. And I would never do some street outlaw shit, shut down I-40, and then just, like, have street races, like, on I-40 or down the street or whatever. That's how people get killed. Like, I'm not an idiot. Um, as of the past few years, like, <clears throat> I've been at the drag strip a lot. Um, I haven't gone street racing in years. Years. But when they did my, when the news got a hold of it, they said there was like over 20 videos of me going over 140 miles an hour, 160 miles an hour, some BS. And it's just annoying that like, like if you go on any of the news networks, like I've been interviewed several times about doing good things for the community or stuff that involves the gym and all these other things. And then it's like whenever they get a hold of a bad story, it's like, oop, let's just see what we can do. So I would say the only cool thing is whenever the <clears throat> news stations were posting about me being some heathen Dominic Toretto whatever is a lot of the comments were actually defending me about how much I do for the community uh, how I'm not a bad person how it's ridiculous that you can you know arrest somebody for YouTube videos that are old I mean we're not even talking like a few weeks we're talking years old and um, it was just really, <laughs> like, Rachel is fucked up from it, and she probably will be screwed up from it for a while. And, like, even me, like, I see cops, and I'm still, I still look around, and I'm still, like, you know, I kind of kind of do this. And uh, when I was making this video and putting all that old footage back on, it was hard to watch, man. Because, again, I wasn't here when any of that happened. And, like, I can only imagine what was going on in Rachel's head and her brother's head, and it's just, it was... It was rough, man. It was a rough... Like, I didn't sleep very much in April, um, especially when I got arrested the other two times, which, again, I'll talk about in a different video, but the first time I got arrested, it was... Uh, like, when you go in the jail, man, like... And again, I'm not a criminal at all, but that was just some real shit, because there were some people in there that you look around and you're like, why the fuck am I even here? Like... And then you tell people what happened and they're like, wait, this is over YouTube videos? Because they made it sound like I got caught street racing at 10 a.m. Like, yeah, no, this is over a video. This isn't over you catching me doing it or someone turning me in like the night before or whatever. Like, no, this is like old YouTube videos. And um, <sighs> it was the craziest fucking thing. I remember calling my mom off Kennedy's phone from my brother's shop and telling her, like, Mom, I don't need you to freak out or anything, but I just got back from jail. And she's just kind of stuttered first, like, excuse me, what? And I'm like, you're going to hear about it. It's going to be all over Facebook. It's going to be... Because sadly, like, <clears throat> I am not a celebrity or anything like that, but when you have a YouTube channel and you put yourself out there like that and you have a following because I do have a decent following and like several of my videos have gone um, viral people whether they like you or not are gonna talk about it and it's gonna come out and uh, <laughs> 
you know, it's just one of those things. I've been waiting to make this video for a long time though. Um, and I'm glad like I have all that footage from when my house is raided. Um, but it was just, I don't know. It was the worst fucking day of my entire life. In the next several months, which I'll talk about in other videos, it was just, just terrible, man. Like, it, it really was. Um, there's some good things that came from it, but again, I'll talk about that in other videos, but it's just, it has been fucking hard, for real. And um, I've been wanting to post this video, my brother's been wanting me to post this video, um, but just, you know, it's, uh, it's just, it's crazy, crazy to think about. Like, eight, eight months ago, you know, or longer now, I was in the back of a cop car on the way to jail with no idea what the hell happened. And like, my house is a wreck, dude. It was a fucking wreck after they raided it. You know, it. it's just, it's crazy to me that <clears throat> you can raid someone's house just because certain people say certain things that you're doing that you're not actually doing, um, or over YouTube videos. It's, uh, it's crazy to me that we live in uh, that type of world. And I never thought in a million years my house would get raided, and it did. Um, did I ever think I'd get arrested? Eh, who knows? I, I, people get arrested for dumb shit, you know, being drunk in public or whatever. But I never thought my house would get raided. Um, and just going through, like, the jail system, like, if you've been arrested, like, and you want to feel like not, or you want to feel like what it feels like to not be a human being, get arrested. You realize real quick how real it becomes. So, um, yeah. So that's going to be it for this first video because this is going to be like a 30 minute video. So I am back on YouTube officially as of January 2nd. So, um, anyways. Uh, thank you guys for always supporting. You guys have messaged me. A few people Googled to see what happened, but it didn't say anything about my house getting raided. A couple things I did want to clear up, though. N they didn't take any of my cars. Okay, so in the video, my wide-body charger was here. My demon was back there. The magnum was over there, which is still there. My track hawk. None of that, like, nothing was taken. It was said, I don't know if it was on the news station or an article, that my stuff got taken. None of that stuff got taken. So I want to make that really clear. No one touched any of my cars. They towed my car when I got arrested the first time because obviously I'm on the side of the road and no one was in the passenger. So we'll make that clear. <coughs> Nothing was taken. So, um, but I am back on YouTube. I have several videos in the queue. I'm going to release them probably Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays for a while. <clears throat> um, but I'm excited to get back to YouTube because I really miss making videos. Um, I miss social media. Like, it's just, it's something that I actually like. I connect with a lot of people, a lot of you guys. And um, anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. If you want to see more of this, just hit the subscribe button. I will be releasing tons of videos, not just involving what happened with my arrest and all that good stuff, but we've got some huge things coming to the channel that I've been waiting to talk about. So, um, anyways, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, super easy, at Kev. hit the follow button. Um, and I'm just ready to get back to it. So, thank you guys who've stuck around. I really appreciate it. Anyone who's new watching this video, I appreciate you. If you have any questions in the comments, um, I will try and answer them, or I will address those in like a separate video maybe. So, again, thank you guys so much for supporting. I really appreciate it. My name is Kevin Van Voris. I'm back on YouTube, and I'm out this bitch. <laughs>